The tragedy at Fort Hood has reverberated throughout the Islamic community. Muslim American organizations across the country have condemned the shootings and are urging Americans to consider the shooter as a criminal individual rather than as a representative of Islam. Earlier today, OETA's Dick Pryor talked with Razi Hashmi, executive director of the Oklahoma chapter of the Council on American-Islamic Relations, about the reaction in the Muslim community to the events at Fort Hood. Thank you, Razi, for taking time to visit with us this evening. The motivation for the attack still remains unclear, but the suspect's religion is obviously on the minds of many Americans today. How does the Muslim community in Oklahoma react to an event like this? Thank you, Dick. Uh, well, first of all, our prayers and thoughts go out to the families of those who are killed and injured uh, in this horrific tragedy. Uh, the Muslim community here in Oklahoma and CARE, Council on American Islamic Relations, condemns these attacks um, unequivocally and without regard to uh, motive or uh, any other um, reasoning. Are you concerned about a possible backlash against the Muslim community as a result of the shooting at Fort Hood? We are concerned about a possible backlash re regarding Islamophobic uh, tendencies uh, that have resulted over other incidents such as this. But we uh, pray and we, we know that uh, Oklahomans and Americans are, will rise above that and unite together against this tragedy. Rozzy, have you received any hate mail or threats after the shooting? No, not at this time. Do you believe that Muslims should take precautions when a tragedy such as this occurs? And if so, what should they do? I think in a time such as this, uh, Muslims need to become more engaged in the community uh, in condemning these attacks by uh, joining hands with people of all faiths and being able to support the families of the victims that were involved in this tragedy. And I think this is something that my faith uh, teaches, and I know that many Muslims are uh, praying for the families. What do you think when religion becomes an issue this early in an event? Uh, I believe that in such an instance, it shouldn't be a factor. Uh, we should really treat it as just any other case uh, that is really irregardless of the many representatives of such as uh, Muslim uh, military personnel in, in, in the Army and Armed Forces. Uh, and we really need to make sure that we stand by uh, these individuals, stand by the community members who are not reflective of these apparent individuals committing these atrocities. In fact, members of the military of all faiths are facing increasing stress these days. Yes, and that's another issue that really hasn't been discussed. Uh, the mental disorders or the um, post-traumatic uh, stress disorder is something that an increasing number of uh, veterans from the Iraq and Afghanistan wars are facing. Uh, when they come back, they're not uh, being able to adjust back into society. And there are many cases in which uh, there have been soldier-on-soldier -soldier crimes. Uh, there have been uh, soldiers even killing their own families. And religion isn't brought up in these cases, and nor should it be brought up in this one. In addition to condemning terror attacks, CARE has also launched campaigns against terrorism, extremism, and violence. Can you tell us a little bit about those yes. efforts? Yes. Not in the name of our religion or not in the name of Islam is one of the campaigns that we're, we have. And we try to make sure that we educate people about the teachings of Islam, uh, the peaceful teachings of our religion, uh, and that we condemn uh, terrorism wherever and whenever it may occur. What do you believe are the misunderstandings toward Islam, especially as it relates to violence? Yeah, I think there's a lot of misinformation that may exist, uh, whether it be in the media or blogs. Uh, but these things need to be uh, countered by the personal connections that people have with their Muslim, Muslim neighbors. And are there ways that Oklahomans can find out more about Islam? Yes, if people want to find out more about Islam, they can visit the CARE website or explorethequran.com, as well as visiting their local mo mosque to meet their Muslim neighbors. Razi Hashmi, thank you very much for joining us tonight. You're the executive director of the Oklahoma chapter of CARE, and it's good to have you with us. Thank you very much for having me.